gentlemen, you might know who has been fighting in Ontario. Get his name is Mr. Derek Sloan. And thank you very much, Mr. Derek. Comes Sherwood. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? What an amazing day today. What we're seeing right now is exactly what Canada is meant to be. It's not about a bunch of stuffed suits sitting in that building. It's about truckers. It's about everyday Canadians that keep the food on our shelves, that grow the food, that raise children, that teach our kids. This is what Canada is about. I'm so proud to be here with all of you today. It's peaceful. It's fun-loving. If it weren't for the negative 15, it almost feels like summer here. It's amazing. I think we need to have an annual day of remembrance on this weekend, every year. To commemorate freedoms, freedoms won. We have heard today from many great speakers, but we haven't heard from Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Justin Trudeau has been involved in other protests. He met with protesters in contravention of COVID rules when it's a purpose that suits him. He's been involved in all kinds of grand gestures and apologies. But when the largest gathering that's ever happened on Parliament Hill comes right to his door, he leaves town. He runs away. He doesn't want to talk to Canadians. He doesn't want to talk to the people that keep this country going. He's scared. He is a French minority. There's someone else who isn't here today. Someone who's expressed support for truckers before. His name is Doug Ford. He was tweeting yesterday about everything under the sun other than the biggest event to ever happen on Canadian soil on Parliament Hill. We need to know why our leaders are ignoring Canadians. Our governance has been a catastrophic failure the last two years at every level. We must hold our politicians to account. Now, there have been many people up here talking about freedom, and I agree with every single one of them. The question is, where do we go from here? We need to have a real vehicle to implement our goals. That means actually getting involved in politics. There are real vehicles that exist to win back our country. What we're doing today is absolutely important, but we have to continue the movement, continue the momentum. Here in Ontario, we have a provincial election in only a few months. I lead a party called the Ontario Party. We're against the vaccine mandates. We're against lockdowns. We want to get fired people back to work. We want to get our children that can't go to school and get their degrees back to university. We want to bring back freedom, but also justice in this country. So don't stop today. Yes, keep this going, but join in in politics. Join with the Ontario Party. Join with other parties that are fighting for freedom. And let's get this country back on track.
I used to sit over there in that building. But I'd rather be right here with you. Thank you so much for being here today. God bless you, and God bless Canada. Yeah.